Hey YouTube, it's Farron LeVon and I'm back at it again with the back at it again. This time a video for skincare, as you can see. So I've been gone for a little minute. I was just going through, honestly, I was going through some things in my personal life and I just didn't really have any motivation to come on here and talk to you guys because I believe the energy is very much so transferable. And I don't want to come on here with a bad attitude or being mad about something and transfer my bad energy onto you. So I'm in a good place now. I'm happy. We're about to start the new year. So I want to end this year with skincare review. So last month I went on Facebook and I asked which video you guys want to see next and I got the most votes for skincare so I'm here now and the second most votes for hair care so just for some of you guys asking yes this is my real hair but we're not talking about my hair today it's all about skincare and I'm going to reveal to you the things that I use the products that work best for me now I want to start off by saying I am not one of those people who have naturally perfect skin okay some people just have great skin it's just flawless beautiful skin i'm not one of those people i've had acne since i was like 12 12 and i started going to a dermatologist when i was 13 so the things that i'm telling you guys are things that i know will work so also at the end of this video i will be revealing the number one thing that cleared up my skin and i know if it worked for me it can work for a lot of people i know everybody's skin is different because everybody is different however i'll just tell you the things that worked for me so First thing that I'm going to say, skincare starts from within. Okay, I know a lot of people say this, you probably don't want to hear it, but hair starts from within. Okay, I know a lot of people say this, you probably don't want to hear it, but drink water, stop eating fast food, or at least as much fast food, things with a lot of oil and stuff in it. Try to eat more clean, and that will really help your skin first and foremost. So let's start there. Drink a lot of water. I'm not saying you have to drink a gallon a day. However, I drink probably close to a gallon a day. I try to stay away from fast foods. Um, I try to eat really clean. I exercise. So it does start from within with skincare, just like with hair care and anything else. It all starts from within. But as far as products, because I'm sure that's why you guys are here. <laughs> as far as products, let's start from the very beginning. Okay. So first thing I do is always, 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 always exfoliate first. Now, let me say this about exfoliating. You do not have to do it every day. Actually, dermatologists recommend that you exfoliate one time a week. Why? Your skin doesn't need to be exfoliated every day. It's just unnecessary. It's just not something that your, need, your skin needs. It's not helping your skin, in other words. So definitely exfoliate. This is the product that I use. This is just the Equate Beauty. I think I got this from like Dollar General. Yeah, like Dollar General, Walmart. It's like three or four dollars. So I always wet my face first with cold water. They say the cold water opens up your pores. I don't know how true that is, but I always wet my face first with cold water. And then I put this on. It has little beads in it. So it's really good at like getting in those pores really good. So then after I'm done exfoliating, I go in with my favorite face wash. You guys, come close. Come close. This is the best, and when I say the absolute best for your face, I am not exaggerating. I've actually put people on this and then like I post it like on Snapchat or something or like on social media and the people come back to me and they're like, Fan, I've been using that for two weeks and it cleared up my skin. It evened out my skin tone and everything. Because I know some people, you may be lighter in some spots, darker in some spots. So this really is a really good toner, in other words. Really good toner. This is the Sephora AMA. Clean Skin Gel Cleanse Plus Tone is for face, eyes, and neck. Y'all, this is $10 at Sephora. Do not sleep on Sephora skincare line. Like, seriously, don't sleep on their skincare line. They are bomb. I use a lot of their masks, face washes. They're, they're bomb. So get this. $10 at Sephora. You got $10. Go get it. After I'm done with that, I will rinse my face. And then if I have, let's say I have like a breakout or something like that. My number one thing I always go in with if I have a breakout specifically for pimples and different things like that is the Clean and Clear Maximum Strength, what is that, Pierce Gel? Pierce? Pierce? I don't know. Gel 10. It's 10% benzoyl peroxide acne medication this is really really good for just like on the spot type of things this is actually what my dermatologist recommended to me because i was tired of spending like 60 dollars on different things this is like i don't know probably about like five six dollars like five or six dollars 
So this is really, really good to put on like acne, like bumps and different things. And honestly, it's good for like redness or if you have something that's really, really inflamed, this will definitely make it go back down and it won't be as noticeable. Definitely, I would say within 24 hours. Really, within like 12. Like put it on at night, wake up in the morning, you're gonna see a difference, like I promise you will. So I would put this on just on zits. I would not put this all over my face. I would just put this on problem areas, just on problem areas. And also this does say 10% benzoyl peroxide. What does that mean? It means that it will bleach fabrics, such as your clothes, your pillow, your shirts, any of that. So once you um, apply this on your face, make sure you always wash your hands so that you won't be transferring that and be bleaching different things and different fabrics without you knowing. So always wash your hands after using this product. Always wash your hands. Also, try to use this during the daytime, not so much at night, so it won't get on your pillow and like bleach your pillow and different things like that. Like you spend a lot of money on things you like, we don't want to ruin it just with face care, okay? Too much money spent. All right. Something that I do use all over my face if I like don't really have a breakout, but I just want to put something on and you can wear this at night. This is the different gel, different gel. My dermatologist recommended this to me when I was like in high school, I think. But back then after my insurance and everything kicked in, it was like a hundred dollars. And my mama was like, no, I'm not buying this. This is at all drugstores, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, this Target, Kroger, anything. It's there and this is really good. It doesn't have the benzoyl peroxide so you can wear this at night or also in the daytime and it really is good. I love it. Something else I also go in with if my clean and clear does not get the job done or it's just not working fast enough for me. This is the Burt's Bees Natural Acne Solutions. This right here. It's very, very small. I'll open it up for you guys. You see that you just kind of take it put it on your finger, rub it on the area. This also is just for problem areas. It does not need to go all over your skin because this, and also don't use this every night. As well as this, these two, problem areas only. This one has bleach in it. This one does not. This one is more natural, but they will both get the job done. I usually, I'll like use them interchangeably. Like if this one's not working, I'll use this. If this one's not working, I'll use this. And they both work wonders and they get rid of acne within like 12 hours, 24 hours of using it. Like the big zits and different things like that. Okay, so after I have exfoliated, I have washed my face with the Sephora wash. Then something I usually do if I don't have like acne or problem areas, I will go in with a moisturizer now. And now for moisturizers, drugstore moisturizers, I don't know why, but they break me out. So what I had to do was I go to Ulta and I use the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator which is this right here. This is only 0.5 ounces. 0.5 ounces, but it's $12. 0.5 ounces, but it's $12. But I will say, this is the only moisturizer I have used that has not broke out my face. And another moisturizer I also use is the Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream, Sunday Riley. Okay, this one is really good. This was just a sample I got when I went to Sephora. And it's actually been really, really good to me and my skin. <laughs> it hydrates me and I feel good and moisturized all day. It doesn't make me feel oily. Like I feel, I don't feel oily. I just feel like radiant. Like my skin is just glowing, but it's not glowing from oil, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, something else. If you have oily skin, please pay attention. If you have oily skin, please pay attention. I had oily skin, I've had oily skin my whole life. Having oily skin is not a bad thing. Having dry skin, it's not bad, but it's not good. It's like, you would prefer to have oily skin than dry skin. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't wanna look oily and shiny. It's like, I get that, I completely understand that. I completely understand that. However, something that I did use on my oily skin that kind of, it lessened my oil production and it really helped my skin so I wasn't having to like blot every like two hours because that's how oily I was. However, if you do have oily skin, you do age well. Just want to throw that out there as well. Because the more your skin is moisturized, then when it becomes dry, then it's easier for you to get wrinkled. Okay, so the two products that really like balanced out my skin, didn't make me dry, but also didn't make me oily, was 100% aloe vera gel. I got this at Walmart for like $3. And then also... The T.N. Dixon's Witch Hazel. 
y'all. These two together balance out my skin. I was not as oily as I used to be. I'm not sure how I look right now, if I look really shiny. But these two definitely balance me out. So my skin looks bright, but it doesn't look oily, if that makes sense. It looks bright, but not oily. So definitely do recommend these. However, what I will say about this bad boy right here, do not put this on your face every day. This will dry you out. Let me repeat that. Do not put this on your face every day. <laughs> it will dry you out, y'all. My skin got so dry. I was just using the Witch Hazel and Aloe Vera Gel. Like, I used it for like two weeks straight. And I say it dried me out. Like, my, I've never had dry skin. My skin has never like been peeling or anything like that. It dried me out. So then I had to go in with moisturizers. And I had to moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. And before I started using the ones I use now, I was using the drugstore ones, which was breaking me out all over again. So it was just... Just don't do it. It was a fiasco. Just don't do it, okay? So I promised you guys I was going to reveal to you the number one thing that cleared up my skin. And that product is, drum roll please, birth control. Yep, birth control. Good old fashioned birth control. Not just any type of birth control, the pill. The pill that y'all don't wanna take because you gonna forget. That pill is what cleared up my face and honestly, the reason why I remember to take my birth control every day is not because I don't want to get pregnant. It is simply because I want clear skin. That sounds terrible, but it's the truth. I just want clear skin. So I'm like, you know what? Clear skin and not getting pregnant. It's a win-win. Okay, but it's not just any kind of birth control. Like any kind of birth control will not clear up your skin. I went to my dermatologist again and I asked him because my skin was just like y'all I was in my or I think I was like 20 or 21 and I still had acne and I was like why do I still have acne he was like you know don't acne is very common I said you know what I don't want to hear that what is going to clear up my skin sir and I was like what about birth control because he tried to tell me about all these products for all these years I have been going to him since I was in the seventh grade now I'm like 2021 and I'm like bro What's going to clear up my face? Like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of acne. I thought this was going to be gone when I'm an adult. I was like, okay, what about birth control? Will birth control help me? He was like, yeah. I was like, so what types of birth control should I use? To be very specific. He said I needed an ortho tricycline. Say it with me. Ortho tricycline. That is the type of birth control you need to take that will clear up your skin. Now examples of ortho tricycline birth controls that I had taken personally, Trinessa. I had to stop using Trinessa because after about like three years, my body had become immune to it. So it really wasn't helping with my like periods and different things like that. And I was really, really sad when I couldn't use Trinessa anymore because they had literally cleared my face up in like two weeks. So the birth control I am using now that I have been using for the past like two or three years is the Blasovi FE. That's what I use now. It is also an ortho tricycler and it has also done wonders for my face. It really cleared me up. It really, 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 really helped my skin. My skin doesn't look dry. It doesn't feel oily. Um, I don't have irregular periods. I don't have long periods. I know this is like a really teeny but it really, really helped me. So once again, the number one thing that cleared up my face was birth control. Ortho Tricycline, Trinessa, or Blesovi FE. They both work wonders for your face. They will clear up your skin, clear mine up within like a week or two. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention. My dermatologist also told me, of course, your skin, like your body, you know, it becomes immune to certain things. So I would recommend, which is what he recommended, Switching up your skincare routine every three to four months. Some people are like, hey, I want to just use this and it's going to work forever. And it's like, no, you have to switch it up. Really, every three to four months does work wonders. So, and I've done that and I really haven't had any problems combined with, you know, the other things I do. So, such as birth control, drinking a lot of water, living a healthy lifestyle has really like cleared up my face. And I'm really, really glad with my skincare routine and how my skin is looking it is glowing but it's not oily 
Well, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I will be back way more frequently. I promise, I promise, I promise. I will not take another month and a half off. I will push through and I'm feeling good in life. My next review will probably be hair care. So stick around for that. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please comment below. I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks guys for tuning in. And once again, I ask that God adds a blessing to each and every person that watched this video. Y'all have a great day and be blessed. Bye.